We're going on a Valentine's Day thrift hunt. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're at the Goodwill on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Look at this cute little car. We're adorable. Look at this cute car. Look at the rims and the tail lights. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, it has eyelashes? Are you kidding me? This is adorable. Babe, look how cute it is. Good job. <gasps> And it has lips, it's a very, so it's a face. It's oh my God, I love this person. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I just found, it's a Germany one. So I thought that was cool, but it's got that like stitched, you know, it's nice. This ball. $9. And then I thought your mom might want this one, just cause it's- She would love that. Super 4th of July. And then just a 90s stitched FSU shirt. I actually really like that. Yeah, really nice. Sorry, the camera's shaky. <laughs> Single stitch. It's good. Did you find anything good yet? I mean, I was gonna try this on for myself. Nice, what is it? It's a romper. Ooh. I like the colors. You missed the adorable Boston Terrier. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> I'm gonna find her. <laughs> she go. Describe her face 11, to me. 11 weeks old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they call it puppy pox. Oh, look, look at, at you. you. Oh my look goodness. at these tiny little teeth. He has so nice cute. teeth too, though. Or she. It's he. He. He, yeah. he has good teeth. I think someone added a cape to it. Oh, really? Yeah. They're like carolers or something, right? Yeah, this one. I mean, it's actually labeled. It's like from a series. I oh. could, I'll look it up, but even for $2. It's creepy. Yeah, they're a little creepy. These ones aren't as creepy as the other ones. Though. True, true, true. There are some really creepy Those Allbirds? They look. Nope, they're J Sport. They look just as good as Allbirds, though. <laughs> Oh wait, I wonder if they're comfortable. Probably. They have a nice insole, it's a memory foam insole. Oh nice. I found two more polos for five bucks each. Those are really comfortable. They're comfortable? They're too big though. <laughs> Look, they're two Robert Graham polos. Oh, cause you can put them together. Yeah. Same size? Same size, 3, oh, X, nice. three XL. Oh, that's a great size. Yeah. Ooh. So those will go together. Yeah. Huh. Isn't that funny? I need this shirt right now. <laughs> And then I found another one. Ah. Another vintage FSU shirt. Same size. So I threw them up on Instagram, both for 30. You know? Stop number two. Lighthouse Family Thrift Ministries store. <laughs> oh my, you need a better name. <laughs> That's not very marketable. We got our bag. Got our bag. We still need to make new bags for people. Yeah, I wanted to do that this week. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Hey babe. Look okay. how fun, look how fun this vintage <gasps> carnival shirt is. Ah, oh, that's so fun. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Singly. Oh, wow. It's brand new, look. I was gonna say, this hasn't been worn. I can it's feel it. Carnival tag on it still. Can you feel it? Do you feel it, Mr. Cross? I feel it, Mr. <laughs> Should I get it? I think it's amazing. I think the graphic's cool enough to get. It would be half off, so 450. Oh, whoa, they made it expensive. Yeah. Whoa, what? Okay. Still the 450, maybe 25 bucks. Look, for I it. found this. I'm gonna give this to Lexi. A pineapple? Oh, it's a SpongeBob it's pineapple. That's I awesome. I think it would be cute if she decorated it for each holiday. She put like a little wreath <laughs> on it and like a little bunny. In oh it or my something. gosh! It's for fish tank, is it? Yeah. That's great. It's so funny. That's amazing. It's got a back too. Oh wow! This is perfect. <laughs> what size is it? Large. Oh, it is a large. <gasps> It's a uh, 30% off, Good. so seven dollars. That's an amazing sweater. Should I get it? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have a good Christmas sweater. Not really. That one's hilarious. You should 100% get that. I don't that. want more clothes though. Yeah, but for Christmas we always have a sweater party. That's true. Like All always. Right. I get it. Okay. I get Just it. Just this one time. Just this one time. What's up? Well, I don't know. I just thought that this was really cute. Easter. Cause I don't really have much Easter stuff. You'd have to change it though, to say Hoppy Easter, right? <gasps> Can you change that A to an O? <laughs> yeah, I could easily change that. <laughs> Thought you might want those. They're seven and a half. Ooh, pure, oh, pure they're gonna boost. be too big on me. Yeah, a little too big? I'm seven. Okay. I can't wear seven and a half, so they're just too big. Yeah. Yeah, well, dang it. They're I $9, like we could still get like 35 from them. So. Okay. They're in really good nick. They are yeah, in look at the cool bottom. color. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Have they even been worn? Yeah, there's a little dirt right there. They might I have mean, worn them in their house once. Compare those to the bottom of mine. Oh, I need new shoes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, at least my midfoot midfoot strike is. I was just good. gonna say, but right? then I was like, nope, <laughs> not doing it. You should do vintage crafts on your channel. Oh wow, Whoa. this is hilarious. Do it. This is okay. Future me. That's future cool. Me. This is very cool. <laughs> Come and just find like vintage crafts. Oh my gosh, I used to love the Guinness World Record books. Oh, they're cool to look at. Yeah, Ellie's looking up. It's jeans. really hard. We don't do jeans, so I just don't even understand how to research <laughs> them because there's so many factors that come into play here. True. We sold a bunch of vintage Wrangler jeans, but they were new. Yeah. Remember when we did that buyout? Oh, I remember. And remember all the Rocky ones that I found at the thrift? True. As well, and we did very well on those. That's true. We bought so many. We bought like 14 pairs. Yeah. And they, they all, all sold. sold. Yeah. Two pairs took a while, but the rest sold pretty fast once they were listed. I think it's more like the vintage high waist women's jeans that do well. Yeah. I don't usually pick up Hilo Hattie anymore, but that's <gasps> a really nice pattern. I love that pattern. Right? That's a great pattern. And I think that's an older one. It's a really nice pattern. So this is, how much is this? Six dollars? It's not half off or anything. Uh -huh. Six bucks straight. Mm -hmm. But the pattern, I'd wear it. <laughs> hey, good news. <laughs> I sold the two FSU shirts. Wow. Instagram. How do you do that? You're kind of magical. Thirty dollars for both of them. That's great. So That's they great. were three bucks each. So six, six bucks into thirty. Yeah. Shipped? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. They're we like going to, give people to good deals. They're going to a vintage store in Ooh, in Tallahassee, good. which makes sense. Good. That's where they should go. Yeah. That makes me happy. So they'll double their money, which is great. Oh yeah, they will. Yeah. Yay! It would be twelve dollars and fifty cents for four Tommy Bahama shirts. They wouldn't be worth selling on their own, but they would be worth selling as a bundle, uh, just depending on the condition of them. We could just leave this one because this one's the most anyways. It's four dollars. Okay. So we could just do these three. Leave this one because it looks faded. Eight fifty for the three. For three, yeah. I think we that's could worth it. Flip them into forty-five, maybe. I mean, yeah, sure. It's a bad buy, guys. I don't really? think so. I mean, you know, that brand has just not been doing great, but no. But if you can get it cheap enough and lot them together, yeah. I mean, it might be a good experience trick. for everybody on YouTube as well, so you True. can see like how our experience is doing that again. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I found for five dollars a Peter Millar Summer Comfort Polo. No issues. Pretty nice one. And then I've never heard of JH Design, but this jacket's four dollars, and we're gonna give it to Ali's. Ali's. Bonus dad. Bonus dad. Bonus dad. <laughs> uh, but he has like a 69 Corvette, I think. Yeah. So I think I think he'll like that. And then this is a North Face Summit Series Large, seven dollars. There's a little mark there, but I think that'll come out. And yeah, other than that, it's in good condition. Probably like 40 bucks on that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then this Larry Mahan Cowboy Collection. Hi, Anne. Mahan. I just like the snap buttons on this, like diamond pearl snap buttons. Pretty cool. So probably 30 bucks. All right. So yesterday we went to another thrift store, one of our favorite ones. It's huge. The prices are insane though, but we did find some pretty cool stuff. I didn't film in the thrift store that much. So I thought we could do like a show and tell for the end of this video. Why didn't we film that much in the thrift store? We were on a roll, just looking, finding oh, stuff. Just kidding, I remember why. Oh, we, we had service. no service because T-Mobile is trash. T-Maybe, <laughs> T-Trash. <laughs> At least obviously I'm so mad not at T-Mobile. Well, actually, long story short, T-Mobile had my phone in their system as a Pixel, and it's a OnePlus, and then when they tried to fix it, they showed my phone as stolen. So I had no service yesterday, I was at the T-Mobile store for an, an hour and a half, yeah. trying to fix it, and then finally, thank God my phone has two SIM card slots, so mm -hmm. she put it in the other SIM card slot, fixed the issue. It just If you have T-Mobile, get new service, everybody. <laughs> They're the worst, T-Maybe. Wow. I'm mad. And on that note, yeah. here's all the cool stuff we found yesterday. <laughs> Oh. I want to show these first because I thought that Callie might want them. I don't know what, what size shoe are you? Six. These are a six and a half. Oh, uh, I mean with socks on though. I thought they for, were for pickleball. Pickle yeah, they're like really good. You might trip if they're shoes. a little too big though. So just make sure they're not too big. And they were only $4.50. Uh, and uh, my toes right there. I mean, you'd probably be fine. You then. should try them for pickleball. Yeah, and if they don't work, we can, yeah. we can list them and sell them. Yeah, they are worth like 35 bucks, so. 
but Thanks. they were only four dollars. Nice. nice. What a deal. Pickleball shoes. Oh, that's right. There's this. What you got? This is a really nice athleta piece. Typically, we don't mess with the women's stuff because we're not so great at the women's items. There's so many different ones that it just like one little difference yeah. can differentiate like a $20 item and a $60 item. But this is a very nice athleta piece. It's a turtleneck sweater. I wouldn't call this a mock neck or a cowl neck. And it has a nice little side zip. So it's very it's, nice quality. It's very nice quality. It's a good size. It's, um, I mean, I think all women's sizes from small to extra large are good sizes. Yeah. And this, oh, we bought it because it was, 20% off of $7.99. 25% so, off. 25% off of $7.99. So if it's $8, so it would be six bucks. Yeah. This was only $6. So there's a good profit in that, even if it sells for 35. I think so. Which I think it will. And then you found this. Where's the other one? <laughs> I found these. They're oh. new with the tags still on them. William Sonoma. I don't know what we can get for the pair, but they were not very expensive. So <laughs> I bought both of them. They're and we could give them away as a gift if we want to, but I think we can get thirty dollars for both of them, brand new. I know, but we have friends that are really big Star Wars fans, and I feel like they would, would like love them. them. I guess. How much do I like those friends? We could buy them like cheap dollar store ones and then sell these ones. <laughs> Just kidding. I found a lot of shoes. I actually found a bucket list and this shoe hat. item. Oh, my hat. I found a bucket list shoe item, but I didn't end up buying it. They were a pair of teaks. I've never actually thrifted a pair of teaks. I really wanted to, but they were $100, 25% off, so $75. And then we found a little hole on the inside of Where the, the shoe. Where the big toe is, yeah. the big toe. Like I do that to my shoes. I push my big toe up whenever I'm standing. It's when I'm thinking, I think it's a fidgety um. thing that I do. Cause I don't tend to fidget with my hands as I talk with my hands, mm. but I fidget my toes. It's really weird. Hmm. You know how whenever we would sit next to each other on the couch and yes. wiggle my toes yeah. under you? It's this terrible thing. Highly fidget annoying. Thing. Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I would have bought them. Um, if they were in perfect condition or new, obviously I would have bought them, but they're cool. And then I did find these five finger Vibram shoes. These were $7.99, so $8, not Amazing half off. Amazing condition. Yeah, they're in like did perfect condition. Did they wear condition. them ever? Maybe once or twice, has a little thing there. So maybe once or twice. In the store. <laughs> but we could probably get like 40 bucks for these. Also, I call them Vibram because a lot, every time I say Vibram, there'll be comments of people saying like, it's Vibram, it's and Vibram. And you're wrong. It's well, both ways. Okay, I would have said it a bit nicer it's, than that. No, <laughs> you're wrong because no, it's both ways. I go by the way that the founder pronounces it, which is Vibram. So it's actually Correct. Vibram. Yeah. Well, it's acceptable it's both It's accepted, ways. but I mean, it's like, it's like wrong. Tesla and Tesla. Elon pronounces it Tesla, so, so it's, it's Tesla, probably Tesla. <laughs> but Americans say Tesla, so that is also considered correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan found this. It's awesome. Oh, that is nice. I love it. Yeah. $10. It's a Major League Soccer Red Bull jersey. Adidas, New York Red Bull jersey. I really love this jersey. It's nice. I mean, I, I didn't even look it up. It's mm. from 2011. So, yeah. you know... You didn't look it up? I didn't look it up, but guessing just based on like other ones that we've sold like this, I would say at least 40 bucks, you know? Wow. Yeah. Maybe it's gone up. Maybe. If we're lucky. So do you remember whenever we were at the flea market and the lady wanted my Peru sweater mm -hmm. and then we started looking them up on eBay mm -hmm. and we realized that they actually are worth money? Yes. Oops. We, we found this and it was so cheap. It was only six dollars and i had to buy it because even if it doesn't sell i can have it. it's nice it's beautiful it's a really nice one it's probably alpaca if i had to guess i don't think it's llama it feels like alpaca it's really nice so but you think that we could get like 35? i think we can get 35 for this nice. like i definitely think so because there aren't that many to choose from mm -hmm. on ebay and this is a really beautiful one and it has the um you can say llama or alpacas on it because i mean it is i would llama? say llama but People would say either, so mm. you want to make sure that you get those keywords, guys. True. And then I bought these on cloud, these women's on cloud shoes. They're actually in really, really good condition. The bottom of them, they're kind of dirty, but if you look at the tread on the bottom, they just need to be cleaned up. They're in great condition. And they were expensive. They were $30. So I paid $30 for them thinking, I think we should be able to get around 65 to 70. 
which so. is amazing. Yeah. So always make sure, guys, whenever you're looking at shoes, you check the midfoot, you check the base and the heel, and then you look on the inside mm. of the shoe at the heel. This was actually probably my favorite find of the day. Just because I walked past it, like in the women's section, I was like, that's an interesting looking skirt. So, and then I noticed the little, this over here says Cruella de Vil. It's and an amazing like, Is find. it a costume? And then I looked at the tag and it's licensed Disney. It's a Disney Parks tag. So, oh, it's brand new. I didn't even notice that. You didn't notice it was brand new? Oh, no, I did because Oh, the, yeah, I was going to say, you paper. knew it was brand new because these mind. were still on there. I did. Which, Callie will need to take those off for the photo. Right, but the but tag's on we'll it. But then we'll maybe still. put them back on so it doesn't get scratched up. It's a pretty cool thing, though. It was $20, and I saw a comp for, I think, 70 Well, 25% uh, off. It oh, was and 25% off. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty sweet. Another pair of shoes. These were $25. They're so cute. No, <laughs> also not half off, but they're brand new with the tags still on them. And they have a retail price tag of $59.99, but I've seen these sell for more than that. So I think that because they're like a limited run or something, people look for them. But yeah, they're Crocs. The, the Apparently model... price tags don't mean anything anymore. <laughs> the model is called Swiftwater Realtree Max 5 Sandal. So yeah, I think we should be able to get, I mean, at least 60 bucks for that. That was a really good find. Yeah. yeah. Weirdly enough, I found <laughs> some vintage sheets. Uh, keywords would be mid-century modern when putting these in, even if you don't want to consider them mid-century modern, they're still mid-century. Mm. Modern being a good keyword. This pillowcase alone sold for $20, which was really weird. But we also have a matching twin sheet. Excellent condition, they look good. Um, they're clean, they have no smell to them, so they probably sat in the cupboard for like 20 plus years. She's right. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that we personally could get $35 for the pillowcase and the flat sheet. Nice, and they're how much? $5.99, less 25%. And then the hat, it's new, it's mine. It's mine. It is, it is a new Guinness hat, it was $6, I'm gonna keep it. Um, so 25% off is six bucks. Brian looks good in hats like these because he's Irish. Irish and he has this giant head and it doesn't make his head look so giant. I have a big head. He's a big, your dad's head Thanks, though. Thanks dad. Your dad's head is way bigger than yours. If your dad tried to wear this hat, big it would Irish sit head. on top of his head like a yarmulke. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not I'm even tell joking. Said that. Are, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, as we were leaving, I went back to the shoes and I found two more pairs. This one is, uh, this is a pair of Reebok sandals. I forgot what the name of them are. I'll ugly. have to find the name ugly of them. Ugly and uglier. I don't think they're that they're ugly, so actually. They're so ugly. No, they're pretty cool. I don't like them. They're like tactical sandals. I think they're pretty sweet. But they were 25% off of 25 bucks, and I think we can probably get around $70 for them because they're brand new. And then lastly, uh, right as I was leaving, they brought out a new cart, and sitting right on top of the cart was this pair of Rothy's. Which is a shocker. Yeah, it's actually only the second time I've thrifted a pair of Rothy's. That were genuine. That were genuine. Um, the other pair of Rothy's that we found recently at the flea market, that was a great flip. That was a $2 flip into, I think they sold for 80, maybe 85 bucks. These were $20, not half off. And I think maybe the reason why people, um, they're, they're genuine, I checked them. But I, I think maybe the reason why people didn't buy them initially is because if you look at the price, that looks like it says 79. Yeah, doesn't it? it does. But I flipped it over and on the bottom, it says 19.99 for sure. So they were $20 and I think, um, I think looking at comps, we should be able to get around the same as the other ones, like $80, $85, Definitely. something like that. The only reason I lifted this up is because Ryan showed me that whenever this comes out, there's a tag in here. Yeah. And if it says made in China, they're genuine. And a lot of times with the fake ones, they put made in USA because people funny, right? don't realize. I don't know, it's, it's hilarious well, You, you would think, like usually that's how it is. If it's made in USA, it's real and made in China, it's probably fake. Even the insert's cute. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a great find. That, that was, was a probably really great find. The best find of the day. Ryan found the best finds, for sure. Yeah, I kept putting stuff great. back because I didn't have service and I couldn't look it up. And then the few things I did look up, I was like, eh, it's going to take too long to sell. I'm already buying one thing that's going to take too long to sell. I don't want to take that. Buy other it's, things that'll take too long to it's sell. It's better to be picky than to buy everything and then sit on your, you know, your money just gets wasted. Yeah. You're waiting yeah. around too long. But yeah, that's everything that we bought. It was a good little Valentine's Day trip. Yeah, combined was. yesterday or the day before and then going out again the next day. But And Ryan let me buy whatever I wanted, so I bought some home decor pieces. <laughs> Ryan said no more stuff and I said No nah, Okay, but we don't for have holidays stuff. that's okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. And he said yeah. fine. <laughs> 
It was fun though. It was a good, like, kind of like great. a different way to spend Valentine's Day. It, so was, it was, it was really fun. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Like and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. yeah. Or don't. It's fine. No, definitely you know do. what? Don't. Do it. Don't. Don't Un do it. Unsubscribe. Don't do it. Yeah. Everybody unsubscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, guys and girls. Later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.